Uh, we have one here from Sam Saad Sports Highlights. He says, hey Deontay, uh, I'm a boxer from Tuscaloosa as well. Any advice on how to how to grow as a boxer so when I'm ready, I can step in the ring. Much appreciated. Almost done. That's easy. Come to Scott Boxing Gym, bro. You're in Tuscaloosa, <laughs> man. Come here. We'll show you everything you need to know. And uh, we'll put you on the right path. And maybe you, so, could be the next Deontay Wilder in your division. Who knows? But just like my mother gave me a poster and it stickles with me to this day, you don't know what you can do until you try. So come on, bro. Come on up here and give it a try. Coach Cuz, New Era Boxing and Fitness. Exactly. Gotcha. All right. This is a question from myself. What was the first thing you thought about when you beat Stavern and won the world title and it said, and new yes. WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. You know, it was exciting times for me. You know, uh, it was so many different mixed emotions that was going through my head at that moment in time because of mm -hmm. different act, act, uh, um, activities and events that has happened mm -hmm. um, in history on that particular date. date. Wow. Uh, or before that day, just like Martin Luther King birthday or, 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 or um, you know, uh, uh, Muhammad Ali, you know, uh, yeah, uh, what Muhammad Ali birthday? Uh, I know Martin Luther King was on the like 15. 15. Uh, Emmanuel Stewart said I would be oh, champion. Oh yes, that's right. I feel like, you know, getting the WBC belt that were Ali passing it down, you know, mm -hmm. I'm taking the role of that. Uh, and I promised my daughter, most of all, I promised oh, yeah, my daughter when right. she was one years old that I'd be a world champion, be able to support her beyond her belief. I tell people I come from a world uh, of unfulfilled promises, that's meaning right. that I've gotten promised a lot of things, but it didn't come to pass, you know? And when you promise certain people things, especially a child, mm -hmm. They hold on to, I held on to words that people promised me about, you know what I mean? And when it didn't come to pass, you know, it broke my heart, mm -hmm. you know, so I know the feeling. So when I told my daughter at one years old, me starting out, I didn't know where my career was going to go, but yeah. I believe, I spoke it, yeah. I believed it, and here it is, guys, I received it. Those words are very true. It's been throughout my life. Everything I have, I've spoke it, I believed it, and now I'm, I've, I've received it, and I'm receiving even more blessings. You know, so. All right. You know, everybody got to look like, you know, it's just like with a fighter, don't want to fight, but he got to make it seem like he want to fight. Just like with Fury. Fury didn't want the rematch, but he, he tried to make it seem like he wanted it. You know, but he did want it. You know, so but you know, just examples like that, man. But uh, man, those guys just be going smoke out of their heads, man, over there, just talking bullshit. And uh, but every dog has his day. <laughs> Tim Nick asked, are you disappointed that Fury ducked the rematch and that he's talking like he won the fight? And that he's, he, he got to be accountable for his own actions. You know, what he do in his career is what he do in his career. I mean, I tell people all the time, boxing is a very dangerous sport. We risk our lives. So he had to, he had to take the appropriate measures of his career. I mean, you got to look back to fight. Tyson Fury got, got knocked senseless. He probably went to, to, to heaven. <laughs> and came back, you know what I mean? He don't even know how he got on the ground and got up. So, that tell you all in the game was a concussion. That's why he ain't want to take the rematch. But welcome to America, because in America, when you don't, you don't understand what's going on, we run it back. That's what we do. That's right. You know what I mean? And, you know, he ain't want to run it back. And we already know and understand the reason why. So, with Tyson Fury, don't use my name, bro. Don't use my name to promote your next fight or whatever, because the folks are hearing this. Welcome to America. The land of the hard knock. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna see. But, uh, you know, Tyson Fury at this point in time, he better be wishing his lucky stars I like, give him an opportunity again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. The way things go. But, man, you know, love and peace and God bless, bro. Appreciate that, Deontay. Yeah,